Welcome back to Blue Collar Coder. I'm Jack Harrington, and this is another in our Tech A Day series. And today we're going to look at Storybook. Now, Storybook's been around for a while, but it's really a tried and proven technology. It's a way for component authors to show off their components. You use something like Yarn Storybook on your repo. It brings up a site. You can see all the components, and you can use some add-ons to play around with them. So today we're going to look at Storybook itself. Then we're going to look at couple of different add-ons. One is knobs, and that one allows you to change the properties of a component live and see what it looks like. And then we're also going to look at a really cool new one from Atlassian that shows performance metrics for the components and allows you to do kind of a before and after thing. So this is very valuable, particularly when you're developing these components. So let's just jump right into the code. Okay, so here is the homepage for Storybook. And as you can see, it's got a nice little animated GIF up front. It shows you kind of the basic value propositions. It's going to show off all your components. So here's an interesting thing about it. It doesn't just work for React. It works for a whole bunch of frameworks. It works for Preact and Vue and Angular and Ember. It's just it's an amazing piece of work. So now in our case, we're going to use the React version. So the first thing we need to do is actually go set up a React app. So we're just going to go use Create React app for that and create an app called SB Demo. Now let's bring it up in VS Code, and there you go. All fired up on port 3000, looking good. Okay, so let's go and create a new component. We're going to create a panel component. So I'll create the JS and the CSS files, and I'm just going to start with the CSS. We're just going to have a, a light gray background, and we're going to have a, a darker gray background title on top of that, where the text is in white, and the content is going to be slightly inset. So pretty simple panel. So let's go make this. So I'll bring in that CSS. We'll bring in a title, the children, and an onclick. So we will assign the onclick to the container element, and then drop in the title and the content. And let's give that a try. Get rid of all the existing code. Drop in one of our panels. Nothing to see here. Nothing too exciting. But, you know, nice little component. So I don't like the font, so let's go fix that. And now we're going to set up Storybook. So the really cool thing is you can run this SB init MPX, and that is actually going to auto detect that we are a React app, the Create React app in particular, and it's going to set it all up properly for us, which is really nice. But it also has the manual integration steps if it doesn't auto find exactly what you are. All right, so let's take a look at that. It's got a little welcome to page, and it's got a button in there to just test it out. Nice. So what SBInit did was it created a .storybook file at the top level, and that's basically your main configuration file for Storybook. Let's take a look at that. So it's basically just got our stories, where are our stories, and where what are our add-ons. So the stories are now in source stories. There's, so there's a zero welcome. That's going to have that welcome page. And then a one for the button. So let's go hack on button to make it look at our panel instead of a random old button. And now let's change the name of the output to basic and put in our example panel. And there it is. We haven't actually rebooted it or anything. And it just works fine. Really nice. But it's in Times New Roman. So let's go and bring in the container CSS. And that's going to turn it into Arial, which is nice. Now I'll rename the file. No problem there. It's still working. And as you can see, now I've got this on click that's got the action associated with it for click, and that's one of these add-ons. And if I go over to the Storybook site and I just click on it, I can see those actions coming through. So that's a nice way to test your interactivity. So the next thing I'm gonna do is bring in an add-on for knobs. And what knobs do is allow you to adjust the properties of the components so you can see how they work differently with different properties. And I'm gonna add that to the add-ons, and then I'm gonna bring it in in an import, and we're gonna use the with knobs as a decorator and then just use a text knob. So that's gonna be able to allow us to adjust the text. So I'll change the title, so it's a text element. And I'll change the interior, so it's also a text element. And we'll take a look. And now I've got this new tab called knobs, and we can use it to adjust the title, or we can use it to adjust the contents. And as you can see, the moment that I stop typing, it updates, which is great. So now we're gonna use this performance add-on. Now this is a new thing, it's from Atlassian, and it's basically gonna give you React performance metrics for your component. It is experimental, but it's fun. So let's go and add that. And then drop it into our main JS. 
And now let's bring in the with performance decorator. And as we can see, we now have a third tab and this is the performance tab. So we can hit start and that actually gives us a bunch of cool metrics. The time to render to a string, the time to do the initial render, the time to re-render, the time to hydrate and so on, the number of DOM elements. And we can even run it on a larger set to get a better, more consistent average. And here's another cool feature. You can actually pin the results. So you can say, okay, I'm gonna pin the results right now and make some changes and see what the difference is. So in this case, we'll pin the results to the current version. And we're just gonna do something silly. We're just gonna repeat title a bunch of times. And it's just gonna create a whole bunch more tags. So let's try it again. And now we can see that the tag count has gone to 95. And we're not looking too good comparison wise. So let's repin with these new worse results. Then let's get rid of our modifications. Try it again. And now you're getting a lot of green. The number of DOM elements is down and it's looking really good. So I think it's really cool that you can go and take an existing system like this. I mean, Storybook's been around for a while and you can find something new and fresh like this performance add-on and that's really neat. And it's very informative in terms of the performance impact of using these components. The components aren't free, right? You have to reckon with the number of DOM elements as well as the amount of time that it takes to instantiate all these functions or objects. So, you know, you got to be conscious of that, particularly in performance critical spaces. All right. Well, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Of course, I'm always down for a subscribe and you can click on that bell and get notified when any new videos show up. And in the meantime, be happy, be healthy, and be safe.